So I'm looking at how the Toyota production system can be applied to mental health services. It's a process that looks at really driving quality improvement from the shop floor. So those people that are in those grassroots positions to be able to make effective changes to make services or products better. It's commonly known in the Western world as lean thinking, but um, traditionally it's the Toyota production system. And what they worked out was that the people on the shop floor were actually the best experts in terms of how they built the cars. So they developed a culture of quality improvement where anyone on the shop floor could stop the process and say, you know, the car's been scratched or this hasn't worked or we could do this better. They had a better product that better suited their customers and they also found they had more engaged workforce that actually was willing to participate and stayed longer. It really has a strong concept of what works for the customer, what is value for them and that all other services should be designed around that. And the best people to do that are the people that are working in it every day, which is the frontline staff, not so much the people in the boardrooms or the executives that don't see the day-to-day -day operations. I was interested in quality and I wanted to look at what might improve mental health services and then asking around I stumbled across lean philosophy I hadn't heard of it before but what I loved about it was the ethos one of the main drivers of lean is about respect so it's respect for the customer and respect for the person on the front line that does the job and on paper it looks like it would translate really well to mental health services. Because it's a new area of research, I'll be doing qualitative research, just finding out from the staff that are using it currently in mental health, what they're doing and how they're finding it. So it's very exploratory research.